The MMO world is a vicious one, with huge development costs, high risks, and a majority of the competition available to players without an entry fee. BioWare's The Old Republic has been in development for years now, and many are looking at it as the next big thing. To get a sense of how it all works, I had a chance to play for several hours as a Jedi Knight. The initial verdict? It's surprisingly good. I say surprisingly good because, in previous, much shorter play sessions, the combat felt fairly standard for an MMO. With additional time, the emphasis on story became much clearer. The combat doesn't feel like anything radically different, but the questing structure, and especially the story and presentation, are standout features. At the beginning, the character must first make do with a training sword until you're finally awarded with your lightsaber as a legit Jedi. The special abilities include strikes that build a focus meter, which is then used for better attacks. To start a fight, the Jedi Knight can jump from long distance and, once close in, has a number of options to deal high damage. It's also cool to watch the animations, as the Knight will move the saber around to block individual discharges of blaster fire. In terms of story, it's really easy to get caught up in the tale thanks to the fully voiced cutscenes. Instead of simply speeding by quest giver NPCs, you actually remember their faces and personalities when it's presented this way, making the game feel much more like a single-player RPG. Giving context to kill and retrieval quests makes them all the more meaningful, especially in some instances when you're given light and dark side options regarding how to complete them. With an easy-to-use interface that makes it simple to find quest goals and targets, getting to play for several hours made me a lot more optimistic about how this might turn out. For more on The Old Republic, head over to IGN.com.